What is the best ham radio antenna for HF on Amazon? I'm going to give you my top eight picks today. Let you decide what you want. Different variances, different this, that, and the other. So let's go. Two years ago, I did a video on Amazon about the top seven antennas, and I got a comment uh, just like a month or two ago that a couple of the links were broken. Amazon does this thing where they're not, they, they have product this month and then not next month, and you've probably seen the dreaded currently unavailable, we don't know when or if this product will be back in stock, that kind of thing, so... I decided to do a follow-up video to tell you what the top pick eights were for today, which is uh, beginning of 2024. So we'll see how long these links last. I am going to start in order of price. We're going to start at the lowest price and we're going to go to the highest price. And there's different variances on all of these antennas. So if you are a kit builder, these K6ARK antennas are great. In fact, the first three are Adam K6ARK antennas. Now you can go to K6ARK.com and find links to all of his kits. And they're just, and there's buy on Amazon links at the bottom of all his kits and they're all sold through Amazon because he, he gets this big batch and he sends them all to Amazon. And then he links from them from his website so that people can more readily and easily find them. So check that link in the description below. But he's got a five watt matching unit for BNC male. There's a BNC female option as well. He's currently sold out of that at the time of this recording. There's a 20 watt matching unit, BNC female and male. This, uh, the female one's being displayed here today. And then the one I like best is the uh, 100 watt in-fed half wave. And it is a SO239 connector for the antenna on that unit. So these are all in-fed half wave kits. They are 49 to one matching units so that you add wire to each actual, after you build it. Again, these are kits that you will build. If you don't want to build an antenna, then we'll talk about a few other things today. But these first three are kits that you build, and they're fairly simple to build. I've built two of them, and if I can do it, most of you guys can probably do it as well. So this 5-watt matching unit and this 20-watt matching unit, depending on what radio you're using, if you're really big into QRP, you've got one of these pocket-sized radios, one of these mountain topper type radios, or the True SDX or something, the 5-watt's going to be plenty for you. The 20-watt matching unit will be great for like a KX2 or a KX3, or the G90, which is 20 watts maximum on single sideband. You can also do multiple builds on all of these. It says right here it can be built as a 49 to 1 un, -un which is an unbalanced to unbalanced, which is what your in-fed half-wave antennas typically are. You can add like 65 to 60 feet worth of wire and have it resonant on four bands, 10, 15, 20, and 40. You can add 130 feet uh, worth of wire and add, I think, 30 and 80 maybe 17, 30, and 80, something like that. Different uh, variances on, on the infed half wave there. You can also build it as a 9 to 1 un, -un which is commonly a random wire. So you can put a certain amount, somewhere around like 84, 85 feet, if I'm not mistaken. You put a certain amount of wire on it and then use the tuner in your radio and tune it to almost any band you want to. Or it can be used as a 4 to 1 if you want to do something, a 4 to 1 or, an, uh, or a 1 to 1. 1 to 1 ballon, which is a balanced to unbalanced, and then four to one un, -un which is unbalanced to unbalanced. And those can be used for off center fed or uh, center fed dipole type configurations. So if you guys want to know more about different antenna configurations, I've got a couple of videos on this channel about that. I'll try to link those below, but uh, maybe we'll do a live stream about that and talk about that sometime again in the future. So the difference between these three antennas is that this one's a five watt maximum. This one is a 20 watt maximum, and this one is a 100 watt maximum so these are basically the same three antennas except for power these first two the 5 watt and the 20 watt say that you can do them for the 49 to 1 the 9 to 1 to 4 to 1 or the 1 to 1 this last one the 10, uh, the the 100 watt the one that i i like the best myself says it'll do 49 to 1 for an infed half wave or 9 to 1 for an un, -un. he doesn't list the other two on here i'll have to uh confirm with him on that i think you could probably do that on this one but i could be wrong about about that depends on how you wind the toroid when you're building the kit that's what it's all about but this one right here infed half wave is a fantastic Fantastic antenna to take out into the field, to put in a pack, to take somewhere, parks on the air, summits on the air, islands on the air, something like that. If you're going to pack up an antenna and want it to be lightweight and portable, an infed half wave is a fantastic option for that. So these first three fit the first three in our eight antennas on Amazon today. And really the only difference between them is how much power do you want to run? I personally like 100 watts, so the 100 watt version is the one that I usually choose. Number four today is a Radio Waves DX40 off center fed dipole. Now, Radio Waves is a U.S. company. You will see them at Hamvention and Hamcation. They make uh, antennas for all kinds of stuff. A lot of HF antennas. They make some hex beams. They make some vertical dipoles. They make some off-center fed dipoles and center fed dipoles. This one here will work on 6, 10, 20, and 40 meters. Again, the difference is how this centerpiece 
uh, often called an un -un unbalanced to unbalanced matching unit or a balan, a balanced to unbalanced matching unit. It depends on how that is configured inside, how that is built, as to what bands you get, as to how much wire you use, as to how much power you can use, and all that kind of good stuff. So this one right here is rated for up to 1,500 watts on single sideband, according to this right here. So this has got some beefy toroids and beefy equipment that's built into the center fed piece. So that's going to work really well for those of you guys who want to run maybe 100 watts on FT8. Or a couple hundred watts on FT8, or maybe you've got a five, four, five hundred watt amplifier you want to run. This is going to be an excellent option for that. Most of their stuff is made in the USA. They do have USA support. You can contact them via email or phone inside of the USA. And at only $97, this one's this one's readily available and it'll work great for those of you who want to go out and put something up at your home and leave it, or take something that's maybe a little bit bigger than an M5 half wave, but not extremely large and bulky, something that still compacts down pretty well to take out into the field right here. Real quick, we're talking about the top eight antennas, and I want to talk to you about the sponsor of this video, who is Sessi. The Sessi store. You can visit the Sessi store right here. If you guys have watched some of my most recent videos measuring harmonics on different radios with the tiny SA, Sessi sent me this tiny SA. I already had one from RNL, but uh, Sessi sent me the Ultra one, which is a larger screen, a couple more features than that. So they are sponsoring this video. Check the links in the description below. If you guys check them out, be sure to put in your order that you heard about them on Ham Radio 2.0. But they have nano VNAs, they have tiny SAs, they have these measuring units that you can use to measure and tune your antenna, or measure and cut your antenna so that it is tuned for a more resonant type capability. It's part of the whole antenna building process. So if you're interested in that, check out Sezi in the link below, and thank you for sponsoring this video. The fifth one we're going to talk about today is the Windcamp Gypsy 5 to 50 megahertz horizontal dipole. Horizontal just means you, you, you kind of hang it that way, or you can hang it as an inverted V, perhaps an inverted L, something like that. This is made by a company called Windcamp. You see them often on Amazon. They've got a lot of stuff on Amazon. They've got some accessories for the IC705 and that kind of thing. This one comes at 100 watts PEP, so it's not as quite as powerful as the radio waves we just talked about, and it's more expensive expensive than the radio waves we just talked about. Honestly, the radio waves is probably a better antenna build quality wise, but you know, some, you know, this one has a 5% off coupon. This one does have, you can see right there at the top where those red knobs are. Those are uh, binding posts or, or um, um, screw down posts with thumb screws on top of them, which that means that you can take off the elements and change the size of them. So if you want to do some extra antenna tuning, you want to add something to the antenna, you want to make it shorter, you want to make it smaller, you want to make it longer so it works more bands, you can easily change out the elements on this antenna so that it's a little bit more customizable for your needs depending on how you how you want it there. They do have a 5% off coupon right now at the time of this recording, so be sure to check the prices for all that. It'll go all the way up to 50 megahertz, which is 6 meters, from 5 to 50 megahertz. Uh, 5 megahertz is 60 meters, so it'll cover a few more bands than the ones that we talked about before that'll only cover 40 band, uh, up to 40 meters. This will cover, well, up to 60 is the next one above 40, so it'll cover one more band. If you say right here, it'll, it says it'll work 50 megahertz, 28 megahertz, which is 6 meters, 10 meters, 12, 15 meters, 17 meters, 20 meters, 30 meters, 40 meters, and 60 meters right there. So it'll, it, you can unwind and wind the lengths of wire out to whatever length you want. It tells you exactly right there how much wire to wind out so you can tune the antenna to different bands and use it in different operation styles like that. Shark Antennas is another company. Most of their stuff's made in the USA. I got some of their ham sticks a while back. Ham sticks are great because they're very versatile. You can set up a hand ham stick and hang them horizontally. You can put one here and one there and have like a like a rotatable type dipole. You can put a ham stick on a mag mount on your vehicle. I've done several POTA activations with ham sticks on my vehicle that you can go out to a park and sit in your truck and, and activate the parks on the air. So that's totally acceptable thing to do. Parks on the air from your vehicle's totally acceptable and ham sticks are great because they're they're generally mono band you have a 10 meter a 15 meter a 20 meter ham stick 17 meter ham stick you can do stuff like that and you can change bands you have to get out of the truck and unscrew the one and they have quick disconnects you can get in some of them but shark antennas makes all their stuff in the usa great company i've traded some emails with them in the past gigaparts carries the uh carries a full variety of shark antenna shark ham sticks so in fact 
right there. <laughs> Radio antennas by Gigaparts. So this is Gigaparts' ad on Amazon. So there you go. There you go. Gigaparts is the one selling these. These are great if because they, they're really versatile. You can run them vertical. You can run them horizontal. You can put them on your vehicle and be on HF while you're on road trips. So shark antennas is definitely on the list today. The next one is the Chameleon. Now, Chameleon stuff, I've seen Chameleons also made in the USA. They have a factory in California. This is the MCOM 3 portable. They may have more items on uh, Amazon, but they're kind of like hit or miss what they have probably depending on what they have in stock at the time so you can click on the chameleon store here you can see a lot of other stuff that they have out here chameleon antenna here and then it gets into other stuff down there with it kind of doesn't it doesn't it's it says it's their store but it's not <laughs> it's just doing a search for chameleon antenna so the mcom 3 portable is a very lightweight very well made wire antenna it is a 73 foot of copper clad kevlar wire and 25 foot of copper a copper clad kevlar wire on either side so there's 73 feet on one side there's 25 feet on the other side you can use this for multiple bands this is what's called an off center fed dipole because the matching unit the 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 black part right here where you feed the antenna is not perfectly in the center of the two wires if the two wires were the same length this would be a center fed dipole since the two wires are different lengths putting this not in the center of the two wires if you think about the two wires put together as one wire and you put this somewhere in the middle of one wire and if it's in the center of the center fed and if the wires different lengths on both sides then it's off center fed that's the easiest way i know how to explain it so this is an off center fed dipole which typically means that it will work more bands center fed dipoles are usually for one band you have a 40 meter center fed dipole you have a 20 meter center fed dipole there are some exceptions to that but generally speaking that's how it works the off center fed dipole usually gives you more band options so you can you might be able to work three four five six bands from one center fed dipole and have it be either tunable or resonant on specific bands once again chameleon antenna is made in the usa just like shark antennas just like radio waves so a lot of these things are made in the usa so you're supporting u.s companies when you guys check this out 180 dollars for the mcom 3 portable very lightweight great working antenna the last one we're going to talk about today and this is just the last one because it's the most expensive this is the super antenna now this one comes with all the stuff you see in the pack right here comes with multiple ways to mount it with the tripod there on the bottom it comes with multiple ways to mount it with the tripod there you can see the antenna sitting on the tripod right there you can see the spike on the left over there so you can uh, stick it into the ground rather than having the tripod sit on the ground if it's windy outside then the tripod might be blown over it comes with this neat carrying bag and whatnot this piece in the middle right here with the black coils is uh, where you tune the antenna so you can move the the whip on the top up and down and you can tune the antenna with the matching coils in here and this makes the antenna usable on multiple bands now i don't own one of these antennas but one of our club members brought this antenna to field day a couple of years ago and we used it at field day and for as small and compact and lightweight as it is I thought it worked pretty well. Yeah, I got to use it myself for a couple hours one afternoon on field day. I think we were on 40 meters with it, if I remember correctly. I can't recall. We might have been on we might have been on 20 meters with it. I can't remember. We're usually on 20 meters with the hex beam at field day. So I, I'm thinking this one we were on 40 meters with, or he might have even set it up for six meters. But the great thing about this antenna is it is versatile. You can set it up for uh, multiple bands. It's a multi-band antenna that compacts down into that little bag right there. And it's easy to carry around. You can see all the stuff on it right here and read all the kind of things. Enjoy the freedom of all bands, 80, 40, 30, 20, 17, 15, 10 meters, 12 meters, 10 meters, and covers all frequencies throughout the band depending on where you tune the coil to. So the Super Antenna MP1 DXTR80 HF Super Whip Tripod All Band 80 meter MP1 Antenna. That's that's a that's a name. That that that's a name right there. Wow, that there it is. So, but that's the last one we're going to talk about today. So guys, that's the top 8 antennas on Amazon today in early 2024 that I would choose. What else might you add to the list? Did I miss something? I did look around and see because there were two or three antennas that I wanted to include today and they're showing out of stock on Amazon right now. So, again, Amazon's very kind of hit or miss. Sometimes they have stock, sometimes they don't, sometimes they get it back in, sometimes you won't see it for a long, long time. Adam's antennas were out of stock for a long, long time, but I know that Adam has updated his stock and added a lot of stuff to Amazon, which is one reason I wanted to make this video today. So, what else would you put in this list? Put a comment in the video below, 73.